What's happening, everyone? Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV. The morning, rub this lens. The morning after the game before um, West Ham four, Leicester City one. Um, fabulous performance. We're doing post-match pint tonight. Um, so if you want to tune into that, but all around a, a fantastic day. We're Good couple of weeks actually um, on the West Ham Fan TV team. We've done our West Ham Fan TV post match pint, uh, sorry, Friday night pint live, which went down a storm. Then we went up to Newcastle 1 4 2. And then you come in on a Monday night and you think, oh God, this is Leicester team. They, you know, you don't know what one's going to turn up. But to be fair, they didn't turn up. Um, and we absolutely demolished them. And I don't think it's down to really Leicester not turning up that we demolished them. I think we was just different gravy. Even when they got the goal back, we stepped up a gear. Our first 11 is, it can match anyone in the league. Antonio's on fire. Um, I'll talk a little bit about him in a second. Um, I think Bowen and Ben Rama are a different gravy this year. Um, even Fornells was, was was excellent last night and um, he can he, he's capable of that every now and then. Defence was pretty solid. Another mistake for a goal, which is a little bit concerning. We're looking to get in Zuma in, I believe, or someone before the window. But, God, this window's the longest window I think I've ever, ever experienced with such little activity. The only thing that concerns me is the bench. Um, when we when we look at the bench and if we, we get any players missing, um, we're going to struggle. But, you know, I... I um, I'm not going to think about that too much. Um, let's let's let the window come to a close. We'll be doing shows all over the week on the on the um, the build up to the window closing. But Michael Antonio, five six years ago, I sat in a studio in a post match pint studio um, when he failed to score and he failed to sort of secure a place, and I said I don't think he'd make it at West Ham, I think he'd be out the door. And there's been times when his form's dropped and I think he, I thought he was finished a little bit at West Ham. But every year he, he proves me wrong. And I'm so glad he does because he's such a great character. I've met him once or twice as well. And he's always a, 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 such a pleasure to deal with. Um, apart from the time when he crashed into a, uh, someone's house dressed as a snowman. No sort of incidents or anything like that with him. Pro model professional very, very rise to stardom in terms of his career, starting in the bottom leagues, non-league and all of that sort of stuff. A bit like Jamie Vardy, really. And he's fantastic. He's absolutely pivotal member of our squad, converting himself into a centre forward. And, and believe me, that I mean, that second goal yesterday, that was that was some touch from him and, and a great finish. And he's turning into a, a bit like what Anatovic did when, when Moyes had him. And, and Moyes seems to have that... Um, that knack of turning wingers into strikers and good strikers at that. The only thing that concerns me is obviously injuries to him. He's, he's you know, he's, he's due to an injury a season. But forget all that at the moment. Let's live in the moment. Record goal scorer in the Premier League for West Ham. 49 goals. I'm sure he'll hit his 50th in the next couple of weeks. Um, I think he might get 15 goals this season, if I'm honest. Um, he's that good as long, as long as he stays fit. Um but a fantastic servant to the club. And I'm so glad over the last five, six years I've, I've, I've got to watch him because it's been an absolute pleasure watching him at times. It's been frustrating at others, but all in all, a pleasure watching him. And I think he's such a fantastic player and, and, and I've got to pay tribute to him. Um, Palace next. Never take anything for granted. We are West Ham United, but it's looking good at the moment. Let's just get them signings over the line. Um... And, you know, keep the feel-good factor. And I've got to say, just a quick one. I went to Newcastle, I went to the Friendly. But last night's atmosphere in that ground, everyone was buzzing. Everyone was up for it. It's so nice to see a bit of normality come back to the world. Not just football, but the world. Um, and it was fantastic to see everyone last night. I haven't seen anyone for a long, long time. Um, it was fantastic. And I'm looking forward to, to Saturday where we can have more of a relaxing time um, and, and catch up with a few people. But... All in all, top of the league, can't complain. One thing left to say, come on your hands.